Hey guys, welcome to another daily tip. Today is January 21st, 2009, and today I'm going to answer a question that we get a lot in our uh, inbox, and that's about recording multiple tracks in software simultaneously. Now, first things first, why would you want to record simultaneous tracks? Well, uh, in the case of drum recording, you want to get every mic on its own separate track inside of your software so your uh, your mixing goes a lot more smoothly. Um, another reason is reamping. I know I haven't talked about this in a video yet but it's in the works but reamping for reamping you need a uh, DI track, guitar DI track which is a clean just straight in guitar and most of the time you'd like to record your mic amp at the same time so you would use simultaneous recording for recording a guitar DI track and a mic guitar amp at the same time and that goes the same with a bass amp say you want to record bass amp and uh, you also want to record a DI track and blend the two together you could do uh, simultaneous recording with that so those are just a few examples that would be useful for simultaneous recording. Now, most interfaces are going to allow you to at least record two mono tracks. That's what the interface we use allows. And many other RCA uh, based interfaces and um, even some uh, things like the M Audio Fast Track, they allow uh, two, maybe four. Um, simultaneous tracks recording at once. Uh, something like the FirePod is going to allow you to at least have it's a 10 input interface with 8 mic preamps so you would be able to record uh, 8 mics all at once. So to do this you're going to have to go into your software here. So I already have Logic open here and I already created a project. I created another uh, a previous tutorial, previous tip and um, that goes through and shows you how to create a project and everything. So I already have the cre the project created here. And to record a normal track, you just click the record enable button and then start your recording. Well, um simultaneous recording is pretty much the same thing, but you're going to record you're going to um create like let's say we have the fire pod. You want to you want to record every mic you would make eight tracks so I'm gonna go ahead and click the new tracks button and click eight and then I'm gonna click this ascending button and that's gonna assign each track its own separate input so you would click create and it would create all of your eight tracks and they would all be input one, input two, input three, input four and so on but my interface only allows two so I'm gonna go ahead and put two and I'm gonna click ascending and it's gonna go ahead and create two audio tracks right beneath audio one. Here's the ones, the audio two and audio three are the ones that it created. And, and you'll notice audio two has an input of one and audio three has an input of two. So it automatically did that and it would do the same thing with a firewire, uh, fire pod or any kind of other interface that works that does simultaneous recording. Um, for an RCA connection imp uh, interface, you're only going to get two tracks left and right, and you're going to be using a mixer, of course, f for that. So you would want to pan whatever tracks you want. So let's say you're going to you're going to want to pan them each way. So let's say you want to record a bass DI and a bass cab at the same time. You would make the bass cab go to the left or right, whichever one, all the way, pan it all the way. And then the bass DI, pan it the opposite way that you just did. And uh, you could do the same thing for drums. Say you want the kick and snare on the same track. Just record kick and snare. Either pan them both all the way left or both all the way right and do all of your other mics on the rest of the kit the other way. So, um, Let's see here. I don't, I'm not actually going to record anything, but all you have to do after you get this all set up is just click the record for both of them. 
and then you can go ahead and record your uh, start recording your track. And uh, it's that simple. So there's not too much to it. If you, but say you have any questions for uh, us, if you have any requests for video ideas, we're open to requests. So um, to post your ideas or if you have any questions about what I just talked about in this tutorial or anything else in any of our other videos, head on over to www.limitless-studios.com. Click on the forum link and uh, join our community and post your questions there in our forum. And uh, usually within a couple days we'll post back. And we have several other members that are just willing to help. They also post. So, yep, that's pretty much it for this daily tip. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, I guess we'll see you in another episode.